So we start out with a <clears throat> OPST intruder shank, um, and this actually doubles back so you can mount the eyes securely, um, send you intruder wire, and an OPST swing hook, which I really love. Um, they're slightly offset. They're already barbless, strong hook and so we'll start with the rear bump being um, steel egg brush um, another wire brush material already prepared it's got little rubber legs in it um, anything that adds motion is a plus in my book so just attach this and start wrapping and with all this material as you wrap you want to stroke it back with each wrap and the whole idea here is to create a bump that will flare the silicone legs, which are going to go on next. A little difficult to half hitch this when it's way back here, but it can be done. The squid row takes two pair of legs, two sets of legs, and I like trimming the rear ones slightly shorter than the front ones and you'll see how that all uh, comes into play when we finish it um, so a little tricky to get these started but basically you want them to uh, totally surround the uh, hook shank or the intruder shank. So we're going to take a bunch of wraps to secure those and again half hitch it to secure them. So and then with all intruders um, you leave a big space for a thin body which is this flat braid material and again the color combinations are totally up to you and your imagination. In this case, I'm using blue, which is a great salmon color. And again, with practice, you're going to know how far you need to leave between the eyes and the body to accommodate the rest of the fly. So this just wraps. And it's not perfect because you end up with this little bump in the rear, but I kind of like the way that looks. And tie it off. Trim. Which gets a lot easier as you work your way forward. And now we're going to create another bump with the steel egg brush the tendency and I know I did it when I first started tying these is to overdress them and you definitely want to keep them sparse So now we're going to go back to the Andromeda's brush that we used in the megawatt. Again, the whole point of the steel egg brush is to create a bump that's going to flare out this 
brush material as you wrap. The other nice thing about this is you've got so much flash incorporated in all this material, you don't need to add any extra. I think too much flash can be a deterrent. We'll secure that and we're going to take out these fibers. Make sure that they're all going to flow right. Okay, and now comes the tricky part of this fly is the front legs are going to get tied in facing forward. They're eventually going to get swept back, but initially they're going to get tied in facing forward. Again, this is kind of a little bit difficult to throw the half hitch in here, but you want to make sure that that's secured. So you want to make sure all those legs are still facing forward. And final step is we're going to go with some more steel egg brush. In this case, I'm using a different color. Again, totally up to you as to which color combinations you want to use. And again, the sort of tricky part is now all these legs have got to sweep backwards. This is the kind of situation where a third hand would come in really handy, but you only get one or two. I'll sweep all those legs forward again, and now we're going to take our initial wrap back of the legs. Now we're going to sweep these back. Make one wrap there, another wrap behind the eyes. And now we're going to figure eight, making a nice egg head. Tie that off, trim. And one of the keys here is you want these eyes set back far enough so that you end up with plenty of room out front to finish this fly off. You could trim all this stuff off. I don't, I don't bother. Look finish and done. Um, again, I don't have head cement, but if I did, I would cement this, those thread wraps and There you go.